Hey, what's up, YouTube subscribers, Milestones music students, and Facebook fans? My name is Jamin Collar, and today we're talking about where is home. Now, no matter what you call it, a scale, a tonality, a key, every song has a place that feels right, a place that feels like it's ended or, or it's, it's settled, and that's going to be home. So today we're going to talk about how to get home and what it means to have a place that's home. So uh, we're going to split it up into three sections. First, we're going to talk about what a tonality is, what a key is. Uh, then we're going to talk about uh, half steps and whole steps because it's important in setting up our pattern. And then third, we're going to set up the pattern. So let's get started. So the question is, where is home? Now, when we talk about home, we're talking about a tonality, as I said. So a tonality is really a set of notes that kind of indicates to you what the right notes and what the wrong notes are for that particular time. Let me give you an example. Uh, if we're in the key of C, those are gonna be these notes right here. As soon as I play that, I've already put inside of your ear, inside of your head, that these notes are the right notes and this one is the wrong note, right? That sounds terrible, out of place. But if I play this, Now all of a sudden that same note, that F sharp, fits in beautifully, right? That's because I've changed the tonality in your ear. I've told you here are the right notes and then we can play within those. So that's what a tonality is. And uh, a key again is the same, same idea. And uh, a scale is just playing through the notes of a tonality from the bottom to top or top to bottom. So uh, a scale, a key, a tonality, they're pretty much all the same thing. Uh, usually, uh, key is referring to the idea of, of the notes, and a scale is actually talking about playing through them one at a time. So there you go. Before we set up the pattern, the first thing you need to know is a half step and a whole step, what the difference is. A uh, half step is pretty easy. It's just the smallest distance that you can go on a piano. So, for example, from here to here, there's no note in between those two. So that's a half step from here to here. From here to here is a half step from here to here half step here to here half step now this is kind of the tricky one right here from here to here is also a half step because there's no note in between it's the smallest distance you can go on the piano so this is a half step right there we've got that same thing happening right down here between this b and c that's also a half step right there so if you passed uh third grade math you probably already know what a whole step is it's just going to be two half steps. So from here to here is a half step and from here to here is a half step. So from here to here, you guessed it, it's a whole step. From here to here, that's a whole step as well. From here to here, that's a whole step. So that one's a little bit tricky. Uh, that's a whole step. Another tricky one is this one. That's a whole step. This one, a whole step. And also this one, is a whole step. So those ones are kind of tricky. Otherwise, you're just going basically from a white note to a white note or a black note to a black note, except for those those kind of gray areas in there. Now that you know what a half step and a whole step is, the only thing we have left is to set up the pattern. So let's get started. A tonality can start on any note on the piano. So it could start right here or right here or right here. We're going to start for right now on C. So we're going to call C the root, and we're going to number it number one, because it's the first note in this key. So that's number one. We're going to go from there up a whole step. From there, we're going to go up another whole step. And we're going to always go up whole steps, except in two cases. The first case is actually right here from the three to the four. Three to four is only a half step. So to review from the beginning, we've got root, or number one, to number two is a whole step, whole step to number three, half step to number four. From there, we're gonna go up a whole step. From there, we're gonna go up a whole step. From there, we're gonna go up a whole step. And here's our last exception. From seven to eight is a half step. So we've got root, whole step two, whole step three, half step four, whole step five, whole step six, whole step seven, and half step eight. And you'll notice that eight and one, those are the same note. So once we get up to eight, we can start counting over again. Eight or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. Now, this one's pretty easy here because obviously it's just all the white notes. So let's try one that's a little bit trickier. Let's try E flat. E flat's gonna be right here, and that's gonna be our root and our number one. From there, we're gonna go up a whole step. From here, up a whole step is right here. Again, whole step from there, and we're already on three, so three and four is our first exception, half step. From there, whole step. From there, whole step. We're now on six. From there, a whole step. And from there, a half step to get back to eight or one. So here, those are the notes for the E flat major scale. So you know what a tonality is, you know your half steps and your whole steps, and now you even know the pattern to make up your major scale. And so once you get back to one, you're back at home and all the rest of them are just kind of a pathway to get back to one, back to home. But uh, I've got a couple tricks that I want to show you to help you practice these a little bit faster and not be so frustrating because practicing scales is about the most boring thing you could possibly do. Unfortunately, it's also very necessary. So first thing is fingering. Um, we count our numbers one, two, three, four, five. So thumb is always number one for our fingering. So it's one, two, three. All of the major scales are gonna be made up of some version of one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Let me show you with C. With C, the proper way to play it and probably the fastest way to play it is gonna to be to go finger number one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, tuck your thumb, one, two, three, four, Tuck your thumb again and you're ready to go again with one, two, three. So you can see it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And that's the pattern. Now, not all of them start on one and just go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Some of them, for example, go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. It's the same pattern. For example, F is the one that does that. It goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Or uh, E flat, the one that we uh, figured out the notes for just a second ago, that actually starts on three and it goes three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So it's still got the one, two, three, one, two, three, four in there, but they just start on different places. Uh, for a list of all of them the, and all of the finger patterns, you can go to my website, www.milestonesmusic.net. Go to the student section and there's a worksheet there that just lists all the major keys and tells you where to start for them. All right, stick with me. I got two suggestions left for you. The first of those two is going to be that when you're practicing your scales and, and you're trying to get these notes down, try not to just memorize what the letter names are. For example, in the key of D, we've got D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. It's not probably good enough just to memorize that those are the ones and that D has an F sharp and a C sharp in it and all the rest of them are white notes. What you want to do is kind of visualize what it looks like for your fingers. So for the key of D, it looks to me like it's got a ridge in the middle and then a ridge at the very end. And you can see here we've got the, these are both down and then we've got that little bump right there. And then we've got these four that are down with the bump at the end. So in my mind, D isn't F sharp and C sharp with all the rest being white notes. It's this pattern right here. So that when I'm playing, I don't have to worry about what letter I'm on. All I have to worry about is what does the pattern look like? And I, as long as I follow that trail, I'll always be safe and on the right notes. All right, last suggestion. Like I said, practicing your scales is terribly, terribly boring. So if there's any way to break it up, I highly recommend it. Um, a lot of your electric keyboards will have like things that you can play in the background, like the beats and stuff like that. And uh, even doing that is gonna make it a little bit more fun. For example, if we're in the key of E flat, instead of practicing that for 10 minutes and feeling like you wanna blow your brains out, um, I would recommend that you play something like this. And then just practice the scale pattern on top of it, like. It 
doesn't have to sound good, but it's a little bit more fun than just going straight from one end to the other. If you don't have those beats that you can play in the background, Jamie Abersold has a uh, CD set called Major and Minor. And uh, if you pick that up, it's basically just a background track for you to practice your scales with. Uh, or if you send me a request at requests at milestonesmusic.net, um, I can send you my own version of those background tracks so you can practice your scales and uh, hopefully not be bored to death. So that's it. We talked about what a tonality is. Um, we did the half steps and the whole steps, and I gave you the pattern for all of your major scales. We practiced a couple of them, and you've got three suggestions now on how to make them just a little bit more fun and hopefully a little bit easier. So uh, I want to help you reach your goals. So send me your suggestions and your requests to requests at milestonesmusic.net. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.